Well, <clears throat> first of all, congratulations to Coastal Carolina. Uh, they, they certainly earned it this week. Um, you know, my hat's off to them. Um, proud of our team. You know, this is, uh, it's been a great group to coach um, all year long. And uh, it, it's always tough, you know, when you, when you get to this point. You have to work so hard to get here. And, and I'm going to tell you guys, this, this, this is a great league. I, I have unbelievable respect for, for the other programs in this league, the other, the other coaches in this league. And you have to work so hard just to get here. And to get that close and, and not get over the hump is, uh, is certainly a tough pill to swallow. Uh, but what I just told our kids, they, they have absolutely nothing to hang their head about. Um, they have done everything I have asked and the other coaches have asked of them all year long. It's, it's been one of the most unselfish group of kids I've ever, ever had the privilege of coaching. And uh, you know, so I hurt. I hurt for them right now. Questions, Ronnie? You're up six to nothing here, and uh, bullpen. Seth gave all he could. Came out. Bullpen gives up. Yeah, you know, you knew they were going to make a run. I mean, look, they, they're so explosive offensively, especially here in, in their ballpark. And, uh, you know, Seth gave us everything he had. All, all the guys did. Um, you know, we, we needed to keep tacking on runs, and unfortunately we, we didn't do that. Um, you know, the free bases hurt us a little bit today. The, the, they're going to get their hits and probably going to run some balls out of here. You, you know that coming in, what, what hurts you and, and kind of compounds things are, are the base on balls and, and the hit batters. That, that, that's what really hurts you. Um, but, again, you, you know, you, you have to give them credit. You lose Mason, how big of a loss was that? Well, I mean, he, certainly Mason's been our guy all year long. Um, and, and, and you hate to lose his presence uh, in, in the lineup, uh, but, but Nolan Tressler played outstanding coming in for him. And, and that's the thing about this team. Um, you know, whoever it's been throughout the course of the year, if a man goes down, we've had another guy step up. And certainly you hate to lose Mason, but Tressler steps in there and he hits the big home run to really kind of ignite us and, and, and get us going. Um, so, uh, you know, certainly you'd like to play the whole game having both those guys as, as options, but you hate to lose Mason, but awfully proud of, of Nolan. Coach, you're now over three in the Sun Belt Championships. Does that make this, you, you, making it to three is an impressive feat. Does that make this one hurt any more or less? They all hurt. You know, when you get here and, 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 and you don't win it, you know, whether it's been some that we lost years in the Southern Conference or, or the three since we've been in the Sun Belt, uh, they all hurt. And, you know, if you're fortunate enough to get to a regional, you know, if you don't win the last one, it, it hurts. Um, but certainly, you know, I, I felt like we had a team had we been able to put ourselves in, into the NCAA tournament somewhere. I uh, felt like we, we had a club that could certainly make some noise, but uh, we just didn't, uh, didn't quite get it done. Coach, there were obviously a lot of big moments in the game for both teams today. For you, what are, you know, what's one moment or a couple of moments that stood out for you as far as where the game changed? Well, you know, I kicked myself a little bit. Um, you know, the, the force out or uh, the, the, the ball hit up the middle uh, when two outs and, and Tyler Martin round in third, you know, I, I kind of kicked myself a little bit. I should have been in better position to help Tyler out on that play. It's a, you know, he's being aggressive with two outs round in third, but I should have been further down the line to hold him up. Still going to take a two out hit. Who knows? We may or may not score after that, but that's a situation where I look at, I, I could have helped the team better there and, you know, made a mistake. Right after the game, but for you, 
you know, is it tough to take uh, an elimination having only lost once, like Coastal Carolina lost once? No, you know, I, I like I like the format that that we play with. Um, you know, and, and, and before we came into the, the Sun Belt, we played this format the last several years there in, in the Southern Conference. So I've been on the other side of it, too. We've been the team, you know, a few years back in the Southern Conference with one loss, beating a no-loss team. So, you know, you know what it is, um, you know, going in. And, and, and I actually like the format, to be honest with you. I tell you, you know, we're we're so fortunate, um, you know, to to have the support that that we get, and you know, talk to our kids about that a lot. You know, uh, it's it's a special place to play, and um, you know, we appreciate all the support that we get from from all our fans. I know a lot of people drove over today uh, to be here and and to support us, and you know, we appreciate that. And you know, going into the year, you know, obviously we. <clears throat> Excuse me, we had lost Jack Stallings this past year and you know, wanted so bad too to, you know, in, in his honor um, to get one this year. Um, you know, certainly you talk about a guy that really built Georgia Southern baseball, uh, poured 24 years of his life into the program. And, you know, we, uh, you know, we certainly honored him with, with the caps this year. And, you know, that's, that's another reason wanted it even more just to, to kind of honor him as well.